This episode is sponsored by Honey Badger. Honey Badger has your back when it counts. They're the only air tracker that combines air monitoring, uptime monitoring, and cron monitoring into a single and simple to use platform. Their mission is to tame production and make you a better, more productive developer. In this episode, we're going to have a look at Rails Routes. And so, if we type Rails Routes, we can get a list of all the routes that are accessible to our application. And as we are developing, sometimes this is a little bit too much information. So for example, if we only care about the welcome controller, then all this other information is pretty much useless. So we could do a Rails Routes. And in the past, I would do something like a grep that's piped into the Rails routes, and then I would just type in welcome. And then I would get the results I was looking for, but there's actually a more easy way to do this with a Rails routes dash G, and then I can type the welcome. And this will give me a nicer format of all the matches of what I entered. But the nice thing about the dash G option is that it's not limited to just the routes. If I wanted to find something like all of the delete actions, then I could do that as well. So this command is going to be very helpful as we start going through this episode, and we'll be using it quite a bit. And the reason why I'm covering this episode is because it's really important to know what the routes are, how we can create them and form them to the way that we want, simply because the routes are essentially defining the entry points into our application. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership. 